So this is a new one here at the Aquino Weekend. It was in the hangar, but I don't remember being on public display. It's a BMP-1 infantry fighting vehicle. Now there are endless arguments on the internet about what was the first MBT, and there are also endless arguments on the internet about what was the first infantry fighting vehicle. The two main candidates being this guy, or the Schutzenpanzerlang, the German HS-30. However, either way, the bottom line is this is no longer just an armored personnel carrier. This is a vehicle designed to fight, as well as transport troops. But you will notice a couple of interesting design features. So one of the vehicles I used to command in the army was a Bradley. If you compare this to a Bradley, it's about half the height. It's tiny. Engine is still at the front. Driver is still at the front left. The commander is in the hull. A suspiciously similar arrangement was found on the XM723, which was the predecessor to the Bradley. Then you have the turret up front with a, uh, with a 73 millimeter gun and one gunner, as opposed to an auto cannon and one gunner is found on the XM723. But then you get to the interesting bit around the back. Back of the vehicle, two swing open doors. Now these doors also double as fuel tanks. So you can see they're nice and thick. Whether or not the fuel tanks are a good idea is also hotly debated on the internet. Personally, I don't think it's a problem. Oh, the fuel tanks will catch fire if you're shot from the rear. If you're getting shot from the rear, I don't think whether or not the fuel tanks are getting hit is really the most important problem right now. Now, the other thing you'll notice, this is not a large vehicle. So you can imagine being a uh, conscript infantryman going to battle, you're sitting with your knees up more or less at your chin. So as you can see, once you're in, if you're closest to the door, you're kind of okay. You're sitting here with your rifle, probably straight up or straight down. There is a firing port to your front if you feel the need to shoot at something while you're riding around. You probably can't hit a damn thing, but they give you the option. But if you are seated much further forward, then in order to get out, you're either scooting sideways or you're clambering, or it may be simpler to open up the top hatch and just bail out over the side. Okay, so I moved to the gunner's seat, which is a fascinating sort of position on the BMP-1 because of the way it's laid out. So I have your primary controllers with an interesting texture finish on them, I have to say. There is a manual elevation and traverse immediately behind it. Now this is a very, very compact turret, I have to say. Uh, yet I can sit in it relatively comfortable and I believe my knees will be clear of anything that will be likely to hurt me during the traverse. The sight is to my direct front, uh, there are other controls around and most interesting is the autoloader system for the 2A28 Grom 73mm smoothbore round, uh, gun. The rounds are in effect SPG-9 rock propelled grenades, they're not identical but it's the sort of principle that they look like, they're low velocity and they'll fire about eight rounds a minute with the autoloader. So this is quite a capable and for its time advanced turret. So anyway, that is the BMP-1. I am sure I will come back and do a full video on this vehicle later. I just saw it here and had to give it a quick once over.